Mi hata wakisema mimi ni mentor. Kuna watu mentor sana wazimu wanakuanga huko nje yetu wako na watu wao. So mi kukatazo kuona mtu ime inaniuma sana but pia hii kitu ya kuitwa mentor so ka familia yangu itaamini Kenya. Huyu mtu anamwambia ana si mimi. Inamaanisha mimi ni mentor kabisa ama but hata kanikiwa mentor hizi vitu zote mtu mentor mgadi anavaanga hivi. <laughs> mtu mgani anaweza fanya kazi kani ningekuwa mento ningekuwa napigania mtoto wangu <laughs>
nikamtumia hizo tests mm. kumtumia mm. akaanza oh acha e, nimekuwa nikitaka mtu huyu sijui nini afu all of a sudden akanyamaza mm -hmm. Emi nikashindwa kumeenda aje afu sasa ile ninajiconvince okay niko kwangu mtaweza kuleo mtoto sijui ni nini ni, tukakaa hivyo but nilikuwa na a lot of pressure yake ni kwa shindo ntenda nseme aje home i never wanted to kuwa single mothers so nikakaa na shindo nitafanya nini eh the pressure ilikuwa too much siku moja tu saturday e, maji iko imefika juu maji sipofika third float kwa tunaendea chini so mimi nimeenda chini na chota maji na beba mitungi juu na kuja kuonosha kwa sky plus kukaa hivi nasikia some pains e kuangalia am bleeding nitakimbia kwa clinic kwa chini wakaniambia e, unakuwa you are having a miscarriage so tutakupe tu dawa uende ulale na nikachukua dawa nikaenda nikalala so Nani hivyo hakuongea by the way afu nikamtext. Ulimwambia? Eh nilimtext. Umemwambia mm, umepata miscarriage? Eh nikamwambia kumeenda hivi na hivi. Aku sikupata reply. Ame nikaendelea na live. Haukuona hiyo nika ilikuwa red flag. Ah niliona but saju haongei. Ame nikaachana na vitu sasa nikaendelea. Kidogo kidogo tena ananiita kasarani yako kwa besti yake ati niende huko kwenda huko na kumbuka ilikuwa time ya world cup tukakaa huko overnight saa tunaongea ilikuwa akaa ku reconcile mm. afa kaniambia eh hey, by the way ile story yangu ya kwenda kuwait ili bounce na home ninapewa pressure niende ni haso kama watu wengine mimi nikamwambia uko ready kuanza life akaniambia eh hey, nikamwambia kuja tukae ati <laughs> Wow, nikamwambia wow, wow, kuja wow. tukae. Uli, uli, uli sema nitakuweka. Eh, kuja tukae <laughs> na akakuja. Alikafo around four days zama a week. Afu akaenda kwao. Afu akarudi tena. Kurudi tena. Ai, ile tu feeling. Eh nikamwambia hebu tuende husi. Kwenda. Niko na bora tena. Sasa hapo ndio akakuasa juu tunakaa sasa akaanza kwa concern every clinic tukwa tunaenda na kuanzia mwanzo hadi mwisho by the afu ni kwa na we 32 kgs by then eh, eh. eh. so kufika place fulani boli kanlemea mpaka nikapewa bed rest so mimi nikabidi niache job so unaona yeye ilibidi achukulie kuhasu so ikakuwa hivyo mimi nikaongea na wale sponsors wangu wa majuu eh nikaambia iko hivi na hivi wenyewe walikupeleka shule eh mm. he na Eh minta nitataka kuanza business wakaniambia haina shida wakaniambia niandike macho wa nini proposal eh, proposal ni mm. watumie mm. nikatuma na mimi nikatumia pesa ya business so tulikuwa tumeplani biz jupe tulikuwa kulikuwa population kubwa afu watu wengi walikuwa wayand kasema tuweke movie shop tukabai hizo vitu zote comp nini tft tukabai zote but siji kuliendaje tu kuweka so akaona anze kuzanga hizo tft anze kuuzia watu na hivyo ndio alianza mm. siku tu zinasonga mm. tukakaa hivyo nikiwa karibu ku deliver e, tukua tumekosa rent akasema sasa e, utenda home ndio vitu hata zikienda wrong unajua ukiwa home uko poa so unaenda home wapi kwenu ama kwa 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 sasa nikaambia haina shida na nikaenda nikakaa huko mpaka siku ya ku deliver sasa kae delifanya wrong mi eva nimekuwa nikikava huyu msee kwetu ile huyu msee akae poa akiwa kwetu so mi hata hii unaona ni amekuja kuishi na mimi mm. but home ninasema e, yali kwa na kwake mi nilikuwa na kwangu so mi ni move in kwake so home kuna kitu sasa story ya ku deliver ni za mmejipanga naambia eh hata amenilipia annex 30k hakuna <laughs> kitu ilikuwa imelipa so imefika siku ya kudeliver Tume ili ilikuwa saa saba usiku so ni atenda wapi nini nini nikaenda kwenda PGH level 5 mm. nakuru mm. so hiyo eh, siku ilikuwa anga saa saba usiku nikaleba for 14 hours until the next day kunipima mm. hey, wananiambia ni kama mtoto wako asungi ni kama mtoto wako amekufa mimi nikashikwa na pressure nikafura mwili sijui nini kakuwa sana emergency nikakuwa ndakimbishwa theater nikaenda theater nilikaa 
around 4 hours juu. Afu nikitoka ni kwa nimeluse a lot of blood mm. ya koko ward. Mm. Asubuhi shusha yangu akakuja. Aniambia uliniambia umelipiwa hosi kwa nini kwa hapa? Niambia tulienda huko nikakuwa referred hapa. Yaani tu mimi na mkava. Kwa nini ulikuwa na feel need ya kudanganya? Si kudanganya ni ile ni kwa na feel need. Huyu ni baba mtoto wangu, ni msinapenda wacha ni mkave tu. Yaani home akae msimpoa. Siko unajua home ukisema msini mbaya au hata i forgive. Unaona wewe unaweza but what about watu wenu? Sasa mimi mm. nilikuwa tu na au kwa unataka Eva wajue. Mm, wajue. Mm -hmm. So tukakaa eh mimi nikatoka hosi, kutoka hosi nikaenda kwao. So mimi I'm 23 saizo so but mtoi alizaliwa 14th birthday yangu ni 17th so no after three days ndo ningia 24 mm. huu ni mtoto mi sijui ndafanya nini yani unajua kuna kujanga emotions mingi na mtoto mi sijui nimefanywa cs ninainama kufika kwao depression proper nikienda kupata mtoi ni kwa na 47 by week 2 ni kwa na 30 37 10 kg down naulizwa ni nini mama saa kumbe nikiwa huku kwao mimi niko na depression but mama yake yako ile wacha kutembea kama umeinama kwa nini unajifanya afu kuna a night mtu huyu alilia mtoto ameoga ameshiba but analia tu mimi sielewi so mimi nimeeka hapa mtoto mimi nimeka hivi juu hata mimi sielewi mama yake akakuja akasimama hapo akaniambia eh, unajua nitakushikisha polisi Naambia mtoto mimi sijui kwa nini analia. Akaniambia wewe endelea hivyo. Mtoto ali, u, mtoto ulikuwa so depressed ati mtoto analia wewe umemweka tu hapo. Eh u mtoto analia mimi sijui ni nini inaendelea nimemfeed ameoga. Kimwili ulikuwa una feel aje? Ni kwa ni kwa sad. Alafu nikijiangalia naona sijui tumbo yangu inakaa aje. Alafu najua sana ilikuwa 24 ile nikipata ibol ni ile sikuwa nimepanganga hivyo afu najua ile sikuwa prepared unajua kuna venye mse upanga life yake but juu imekuja imekuja tutaenda vetuko mm. but saa hii time mimi sielewi kunaendaje mimi najaribu ku fight these emotions but haziishi na alikuwa na kam kukuona ama alikuwa in fact tulikuwa na yeye kwao mm. so hii time yake mama yake anasema hizi vitu actually amesimama hapo Namwangalia tu amesimama karibu na mama yake. Alafu ninaambiwa, "Eh ka hautaki uta, mtoto, e, utenda tu tuachie mtoto wetu." Ai mimi nashindwa ni nini inaendelea. Alafu naambia siuonge. Ati hapana ni vee mama yangu anasema, "Juko tunakuchunga, unapewa food, unapewa nini?" Mm. Alafu ikakuwa yeye atarudi Nairobi juu ya nyumba so aka prepare nyumba ndo niende. Si nikacho huko sio siku niliacho huko mi na feel tu niko uncomfortable mi nikaambia mama yake he kasema nataka kurudi Nairobi ndio siku nikaambia basi nijifunze kujifulia nini kufua kidonda ikararuka siku sema juu siku nataka kukaa tukaeko kwa gari tukaenda Nairobi Nairobi tukakaa tulikuwa sawa eh huyu baby daddy akapata deal ya kuuza nyanya Mtu alikuwa ametoka Tanzania, alikuwa feel poor, akamwambia muuzie, afu watagawana do. Kuuza sasa si ndio alipata do, alipata over 50k. Kupata ndo tukona, acha tu buy electronic shopping nyingine ilikuwa inauzo hapo. Sasa hiyo ndo ilikuwa biz. Mm. Sasa unaona hapo mtu huyu akiwa 3 months, hiyo ndo the first time huyo mtu ali get physical na mimi. Juna kumbuka hiyo time alikuwa na a friend Uwa friend alikuwa anatakanga akikuja job analala kwetu alifanya hivyo the first time nikiwa pregnant after sasa hii the second time mtoto sasa unaona ko 3 months i mean nikaambia hii kitu haini bambi juu unaona mpaka utaenda kufungua mlango mpaka saa tisa usiku and this person mm. ni kwa nimeambiwa somehow alikuwa ex wake mm. but yeye alikuwa ananiambia si hivyo So mimi asubuhi kumconfront kuhusu hii issue akaanza oh hata wewe uongea na ex wako sijui nini hivyo ikakuwa hivyo um, akasimama alikuwa ameka pale kwa kiti akasimama akanisma kivi kwa face mtu huyu alikuwa hapa kwa kiti nikaanguka chini akanishika hivi mkono akani drag nikanifungia bedroom na akachukua simu yangu kalock na akaenda sasa sikujua alienda api 
Alafu akakuja, akanirudishia phone. Kunirudishia phone. First person I called ni mama yake. Sasa mama, eh huyu amenipiga. Akaniuliza, "Umemfanyia nini? Lazima uko umefanya kitu." Nikakata phone call. Nikapigia uncle yangu. So uncle yangu ndiye alimpigia, akaambia usiiguza huo dream sana tutakosana. Mimi this time naambia sitaki kukaa huko sijui nini. Wakaniambia kujeni home tutasolve kitu kapitia kwao tukoongelesho mimi nikaambia ni niache ndoa inakuanga hivi na hivi hebu tuambie ati ndoa inakuangaze kuvumilia watu uko sana watu upigana na mnasameheana so e, akaulizo we ni nini ulifanya oh sijui alinikasirisha ati juu unajua yeye alianza kuongea she was raising her voice juu nini akaanza kunirushia mm. vitu so mm. mila nikakasirika nikasimama nikamgonga kambi unaona e, mtu mtu anakuanga mpole unanyenyekea hivyo tu mimi nikaacha i slide na tukaendelea kukaa tulikuwa tunakaa the main thing tulikuwa tunabishania na huyu mtu he so close to his mother afu mimi nilikuwa nimemfanya ni yeye best yangu so anything tamwambia in confidence lazima nitasikia kwao na vile inatoka kwao siko anapenda juu nakumbuka the first time nili meet mother yake mm. nikamuelezea background yangu tuve nilitaja children so makaniambia he kwani watu wenyu wakupendi au upendi mi atimia hata kitu ifanyikie watoto wa watoto wangu i can never take them to a children so ame nikaambia kenye ilifanyika they did the best they could mm. so sije hapo ndo Siji toka hapo watu kuelewana na mama yake but me I tried mimi nilikuwa najaribu pango but tukiwa na yeye nilikuwa na feel your tension nilikuwa na kazana tu tukakaa tukakaa ikafika a time sasa penye vitu zilianza kuharibika tena sana ati atenda China na a uh, group ya church mimi niko hapana we don't have enough finances for this but the mother anamwambia tu enda afu kirudi tuta sort Akenda alikuwa ende na pesa gani zetu za za business mm. eh so alitoa pesa ya biashara akaenda eh, nayo China eh, walikuwa wanaenda kufanya nini I, ni a group mm. eh, inaenda ngana church wanaenda nga yale ati wanaenda mnaona vitu ziko kwa market unaweza oh. leta import oh. uze anyway akaenda sasa but ndiende eh, unaona pesa azitoshi anatoa kwa biz kidogo sijui ame kopa wapi na api zingine alikopa kwa simu yangu mm. mshwari mm. na ilikuwa i remember it was 12000 mm. 110 mm. aya akaenda kurudi akarudi na vitu guess what hizo vitu zote ni counterfeit so hizi vitu hatuwezi uza kurudisha alikuwa pesa alikuwa pesa ya kununua vitu unaona pesa zenye alikuwa tunatoa kwa bills mm. lazima angepata transport na pesa ya kutumia huko so mm. pesa ya oh. kutumia ndiye alinunua vitu kurudi mm. nazo kurudi mm. nazo ni counterfeit isipokuwa nini tv ikuwa tv moja tukauza all this while namuuliza tuko na pesa zingine ati yeah, we have 200k kwa account mi tu niko sawa after three days shock ati hatukua na pesa yote mimi nilikuwa nakwambia hivyo tu ndio utulie utulie mm. si nikaambia tutafaa nini first mpesa hata ina do mm electronics zote umerudi nazo ni counterfeit mimi tu ule sijui nikaongea tena na my friends nikaambia busy yangu inaenda chini ningependa muni boost hata niko na hiyo nini ya western union wakantumia 100k niweke kwa biz acha biz inaendelea bado kuenda chini nikaambia tufanye aje si Afu hapo kuli hapo around walikuwa wameanza kufungua za business ka hiyo electronic so Nika competition mbia, ilikuwa hai eh tuuze hii tuanze yeah. biz zingine tukauza na tukahama hiyo area tukaenda sasa kwingine na tukaanza biz ya wifi installation na hapo sasa mtu hisi alikuwa na grow sasa alikuwa amefikisha 3 years naambia ju mtu yote ingia shule acha nione venye nita na Asul. mimi nitahasul Nasema sawa ati lakini unajua wewe hauwezi take pressure si tu nini tu wacha tutafungua business huko ukienda sasa mimi nikaona ah but nilianza tu mi ku job so ikafika 
November. November, the shule zilifungwa, tukona, tukuje na kuru. Kuja na kuru, mini kasema nikae home, jusho sheangu ni mgonjwa, afu jobe ni kwa nimepata ya contract ya two months, kwetu ni karibu na town, kuhu ni mbali. So, mini kikosa fea neza, tembea. tembea to town. Weekend moja, sheangu wakaniambia aje, eh, enda, utembe, ndi hata ujue watu wako aje. Uko nkambi, uko sawa nikienda, wakaniambia ye. Mm. Ilikuwa, tukua tunawak till Saturday, so ikuwa Saturday juni. Walikuwa town. Afu yo kazi tukua mimi na the younger sister, tulikuwa hiyo job ya contract. So yo, tukaenda kwa walikuwa town wanafanya shopping. Kufika kwa the other sisters, wakasema jumefika, ni duty enyu. So tuoshe viombo, tupike, tusavu watu, tukafanya hivyo. The next day, the same thing. Baby daddy, wakaenda bash. Hawa wengine wakaenda church. The father at your time alikuwa ameenda operation. Mm. So kulikuwa na visitors in and out. So si ndo tuna, tuna karibisha visitors, tuna wasavu, nini, nini. Jioni akakuja akaniambia, by the way, nguo zangu ni chafu, ni six size Niko suppose kuingia kitchen tena kupika sapa. Nikaambia kisteza, ambia one of your sisters akufulie, nitakuja kaa Tuesday hivi kufua. Misi kujua mejama, after two days, akakuja kwetu. E, sasa, akambia shusha angu, mini kuja huku na bibi na hata anisaidi. Anisaidi hata amwambia fuwe nguwa mekata. Mm. Shusha angu akambia no, aliniambia ve kulienda na kazi yenye walikuwa na ayo, so hangeza kufua. Sema, apana, mi hata asirudi kwangu, sijui nini, hata nachukua mtoto, neenda ne. Nkambia wezi chukua mtoto, afu wakanza kuongea vitu. Hii likuwa lini haswa? Hii likuwa sasa December, December 2019. Okay, 2019. Eh, akasema, mm -hmm. hata neenda na mtoto. Afu vitu zenye anasema mi na shindo, ai uyu mse, ai mi nikamu wapu, venye mimi nimeishi kuprotect uyu mtu ona venye ananianika. Mm. Na hata vitu zingine nilimuambia in mm. confidence. Saa mi kuona hivyo na mi nikaanza. Nkasema hata ya kienda hii job contract kwenye wanaendanga kisumu Mombasa, anaendanga na women. For the last like four months nimekuwa nikitreat infections, but alikuwa na niambia tini family plani yangu. Saa kusikia nimeanza kusema hizo vitu, anaambia shushi yangu, ato msichana wako anakuanga wazimu, sijui hata ashai, ana, ashai eko, sijui anda madawa gani, hata simtaki ya sirudi, na katoka na kabanget na mlangu wakenda. Iyo ndo the first time toto wangu alienda. So mimi ikafika ni December, January. E, na jaribu ni kwa naongea na mtoto kwa simu. Kukenda hivyo kukafika time, nikablokiwa. Siezi ongea na mtoto, nikipiga simu waingi, nikimtext na meni block. Alikuwa na ni block one month, anani unblock. So hii time... Na unaka one month bila kuongea na mtoto? Mm. Na uko sawa? Si kuwa sawa, lakini mm. pia home niki ukisema, shusha na kuambia inabidi ukue strong. Kwetu kuna kuanga na ila kitu inaito tough love. Mm -hmm. mm. Ata kama tafla viko, mm. na kitu badu nataka kuelewa, mm. one month inapita na ujaongea na mtoto wako, mm. how travel kuenda Nairobi kumuangalia? Apana, eh. ilikuwa juu mseli ata amesema home, usirudi kwangu na kambia shangu uyu, asirudi kwangu, anakuangawazi. Kwa wake unenda kuongea na mtoto wako? Nairobi asi kuenda juu after kuambia hivyo mini nifikiria umse asha ikuwa fiziko. Ninajua huyu mse, na nikienda huko kitu ini, inifanyikie, e. E, na unaona sayo niko kwake. Ama niende, nisikie mtoto wamekuja, kwa omi niende, mama hake ya tanitrita aje. <laughs> so mi nilikuwa na hiyo fia, so naka... Oh, so ulikuwa na fia. E, nika, nikaona at some point, haka nianblock, kuna juu unaona, unaona nga kwa WhatsApp. What's Eh, hey, jutajua mtu wakiku block na wakiku unblock. Nika mtek, nika ambia, neza have mtu hii for two days, wakiku jamid term. Aliniambia, eh, afu jioni tena akantek, saka niambia, pana, ati ju, wacha tu mtoto wakifunga shulenda kupe for good. Nika mwambia, sawa, afu mi nika jaribu ile to reconcile. Nika ambia, by the way, kenya ili hape, na tuwezi acha behind, ni rudi home, hmm. at least tuendele kulea mtoto ka family. Haka niambia, nataka ushike hii na ushike vizuri. You are one person I hate the most in this world. Nika muliza kwa nini, you walked out on us. Nika ambia, no, uliniacha home. Sema, no, you walked out on us. 
Afu ni msi alikuwa mefanya anga, ni na believe vitu. Iyo si mara kwanza ikuwa menita wazimu. Hata tukishi na ena kumbuka sate insandi. Tukua tunajitarisha kuenda church. Mi ni mevatu kadresi hivi. Ni mbe baithe huko na cellulites kwa hizo umeguza kwa kini kamuangalia. Waka ni mbe baithe unajuu vayu na kuanga na menu kubwa. Ati? Unajuu na kuanga na menu kubwa. Mi ni kwa hizi zaote zinatoka. Hapi maji mi ni nituwa hiyo dress ni kabat rosa ni kambia tuende church. I think I'm getting something. So who mtu? Alikuwa me destroy esteem yako kabisa. Mkweli. And this person was also your best friend. Eh, alafu, I didn't have a sako. Ile, si unaona sina mfanyi kazi, so stoki kwa nyumba. Eh, si endi mahali, sina sako. Ni etu, uyu alikuwa best friend yangu. Nikitaa kitu yendo, ntambia. Kitu iki nifanyikia yenda. Sa yendi alikuwa kama, so si a strength yangu, best friend yangu, ile go to person. So unaona suwa kiniambi hivi na shindwa nini. So sanyi anakuambi uko na menu kubwa, ulifanya nini? By the way, ni kwa naangalia kwa kio, unaona by the way, ni kubwa mbaka ni kanza kumuambia. By the way, mwaja ikeza toka na eza kaka, sina menu nene, ivo sasa. Davi, ni kendelea, but at some point ni kwa namuliza, kwa ni unaniambi anga ivo. Afu sa mimi, Afu atarudi ya niambia ni pende. By the way, likuwa ni nunuli anga gift. So, mi nkiba iwa gift. Emu na umana pendwa. Alafu. Koja koi. Sorry. So, anakutusi. Anakuridusi hivi. Alafu wakikuba iya gift. Emu na umana. Maybe. Ah, ni na pendwa. Alafu, nilikuwa tunapele kwa. Kama sandi moja nsema, e, hii weekend siju tutenda wapi na hapi, yani unatritiwa. So watu ukifanyi wa kitu, afu pelekwe ya watu miniko, mm, mm, nsawa at the end of the day, minapendo, mm. anafanya BD, anatupeleka huku huku. So mini likuwa tu saa. So hata kitu ingefanyika, kurudi home iku option, nikuwa najua at the end of the day, tutakuwa tu sawa so mi ni kwa nanana so mi kumwambia to reconcile siju nini akaniambia you are one person i hate the most in this world mimi nikanyamaza tena so mimi we yangu ya kucommunicate mi siju wangu kuji express sana so mi nimezoea kuandika na muandikia text na muandikia text nikakuwa blocked but akaleta nga mtoto kuleta mtoto akamleta mbaka na homework but ilikuwa ameleta mtoto kwetu but atakuwa kikuja kwetu every day afu alileta huyu mtoto na simu hii simu iko mbaka na sim card na credit ni kushinda amepigia mtoto sasa baba umekula umekula nini afu iko time simu ilienda around kwao ati tumekumiss urudi home tu sijui nini unataka tukupikie nini mtoto anasema mayai asubuhi hivi kufika mtoto wako kwa mlango Mamu staki kukaa huku, nitaka kuenda huko, ninapikiwa mayai, kana shindo wanafanyia ni mtoto. Shushi angu ananiangalia, ananiambia, unajua ata unasumbuka mawazo. As much as unataka kukana huyu mtoto, ni kama hataki, namba si hataki, ni hizi simu anapigia. Afu babake, babake ya kikuja, afu waende, obvious mtoto atataka kuenda nee. So tukaka kwetu ilikuanga tumi na shushi angu. Nikona mtoto anaboeka. Uncle yangu, the two cousins of mine were dogo six and four. Kona juu mtoto anaboeka, nikambia shiangu. Wacha nipeleka hapa kwa uncle yangu. Nika ten minutes walk. Akaenao, wache kuboeka. Kuenda, mtoto wakaniambia rudi. Nikambia sacha ni kulete nguo. Uku kuna house help. So mtu hiku kaa hiku wa shida. Nakaka. Bado mtoto wakiwa uko, babaki ya takuja uko kumuangalia. Hai mbaka shu yangu wa niambia kweni hana faith na wewe. Honi kama mtoto anachungu ama ni. Mi ni kama ambia sijui. 17th April ndo inakuanga balde ya mama ake. So waka kuja waka sema nataka mtoto. Waka ambia shu yangu nataka nichukwe mtoto tuende bashe ya kushugia muana. Shu yangu waka mambia pana. Asa suwache mtoto wakae ata ita imia korona. Badu mtashinda mkizungusha mtoto. Haka sema kweni mtoto kuenda kwetu inashida. Haka ambia shushe yangu, by the way, kamu likuwa mnataka u mtoto wakaya hapa, 
hamunge mpeleka huko kwa anko ya huyu mm. shoshe yangu akajam mm. akakaa hivi chini kwa kitu so kaanza wanarudishiana mm. shoshe yangu akaniambia koi enda leta hiyo sweet case teremsha mpe nguo kaa nataka mtoto acha ende na mtoto mimi niko nini endelea aniambia afu akaniambia ndio unilete papers za mtoto mimi nikachukua birth certificate kitabu ya clinic karatasi ya huduma namba nikampe jua meitisha papers na akaenda na hiyo ndo hapo sando nilionanga mtoto mara mara ya mwisho sasa nikajaribu na call nini nikablockiwa niliambiwa ati kwa nini wewe hungepigania mtoto akae kwenu naambia uko ni kwetu shusha yangu amesema hivi mimi nikuandakia shusha yangu sina job nyana nilisha kila kitu nikaambia juu ya hiyo mtoto achane afu akanipigia simu usiku wakaniambia we want you uandike letter Useme una sign of rights zako zote kama mama huyu mtoto. Useme utai mtafuta na hautai mtaka. Nikaambia siwezi fanya hivyo mimi ndo mama huyu mtoto. Wakaniambia walinipe sijui you either ni either nifanye hivyo sijui amani achane nao kabisa. Is options walikupea je through a text message? Hapana. By the way mtu hakuwa i text. Ever alikuwa na ni call. Afu simu yangu ni Samsung A7. Hayezi record, hayezi record call. So hiyo ndio disadvantage moja nilikuwa nayo. Mm. Ah mimi nikanyamazia kwanza. Nikanyamaza ikafika October my sister's daughter akapass. She was four years. Mm. So wakam text jua alikuwa anasema bado ako kwa familia. Kum mm. text ngasikia alikuja nini. So nikajua jua hii story lazima atani unblock. By the alikuwa ameni unblock nikaambia naweza ona mtoto sijui nini 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 by the aliniambia e, na tukasetwa nitaenda nichukue mtoto mpaka nikatafuta shule so si mimi niko prepared naenda kuchukua mtoto nikaambia uncle yangu mm. utanipeleka nikachukue mtoto mm. akasema e, tukaendelea hivyo kukaa niko suppose kuchukua mtoto kesho saa leo mimi ninaitwa unajua kwa hiyo mtoto akikuja huku una have kujipanga E, baba yake ikosa kulipa school fees huko na school fees ya kulipa mtoto atakuwa kula nini uko na pesa unaelewa hiyo kitu saa mimi nika get sina support kwa mimi nikapigia baba yake nikaambia baba yake if 50 50 unasema e, hapa nikaa sina support nipe time kidogo nijipange nihame alafu nikujie mtoto mm aka jam akaniambia hata acha tu niende kwa lawyer once mimi mm. ni file ni ni sole custody ju nimechoka na history naambia ni support sina siwezi chukua huyo mtoto nikamleta huku na sina support please ni pay time eh akasema hapana na akakata simu kutoka hapo tena block mimi siku moja tu nimekaa hivi job niko an easy na jaribu kuangalia nini sioni nilikuwa na 700 kachukua hizo 700 nikaenda kwa matatu za Nairobi nilifika huko jioni usiku saa mbili. kufika saa mbili ni knock mtoto akanchungulia kwa dirisha afu akafunga curtain tena afu akafungua tena i think mtoto hakuwa na believe akakimbia i think alienda kaambia babake afu akakuja akafungua akaanza mama mkumbe ni wewe Ah ni kwa ndani ni anti. Unajua anti anakujanga huku kila siku bla 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 kaanza kunipesa sasa story ya the other person mwenye anaishi huko. Ami si kwa na issue. Nikahug huyo mtoto. Immediately ni mhug tukaanza kulia sisi wote. Alafu nikaambia baba acha ni sanitize. Baba yake akukuja ati eh hata umekujaje kwangu kwa nini uwezi piga simu? Kwanza uko mlevi. Mtoto wangu anakuanga bright. Anajua mlevi ni nini? Asema pana ni sanitizer tunapaka. Sasa hizo mtoto ameshika hivi. Akaingia bedroom ya mtoto, niko na amechukua baga, amepack, e, akaingia hii bedroom nyingine afu akarudi, akachukua tena bag nyingine akapack. Mm. Akachu, akaingia kitchen akachukua electric kettle, sijui na ni pasi, akaniambia e, atuwezi kaa nyumba na wewe. Nimechukua mtoto, tumeenda tutarudi kesho asubuhi. Naangalia bag wamepack ano watu wamebeba mpaka keto. Nasema watu hawarudi. Ngambia wendi na mtoto wangu. Niambia kwanza sijui umekuja aje huku. 
hauna ruhusa huko nipigia simu na get this hauna rights zozote over huyu mtoto nikaambia rights ama hakuna rights huyu mtoto wangu na hatoki hapa na hii ni reason nimekuja hapa akaanza kupiga simu alipigia mama yake wa kwanza ka kawaida sijui waliongea nini afu saa akapigia the other person alikwambia niko huko so asikuje mm. baby mama is here so mm. aya ikakuwa hivyo ikakuwa sasa tutabishana anataka kwenda na mtoto mistaki mtoto aende akaenda akawasha gari kasi mama nyuma gari ngambia kwa unaenda pita na mimi lakini huu mtoto utoki na huko so imekuwa fracas mi nalia mtoto analia yanta kutoa gari watu wakaanza kushuka afu hiyo nyumba iko na six clothes mm. watu wakaanza kushuka ikaanza kuwa drama akarudi kwa nyumba kurudi kwa nyumba penye anaenda mimi namfuata kaa nimeshika mtoto kurudi kwa nyumba akasema upende uspende mimi natoka hapa na huyu mtoto mm. aniambia by the way tunaenda kwa brother yangu tunarudi asubuhi nikaambia ubagu mepa hamrudi na hawendi na mtoto basi kani hivyo tutoke na yeye hapa twende kotini kesho basi tujue vile mimi nitapewa mtoto jumi nimeshahama sasa nishajipanga sasa situajue venye sasa mm. mtoto atalelewa mm. Uh, akakaa akaingia bedroom sijui alikuwa anapiga simu but zenye alikuwa anataka nisikie ni kwa nasikia tie hata nitaambia polisi wakitoka patrol wakuje huku sijui nini akatoka nje tena mimi nikamfuata akaenda akatoa gari nje ya gate kutoa gari akakuja akaambia mtoto twende baba sasa mtoto ako confused naambia baba tukae na wewe jo hata mimi nalia mtoto akanishika mkono akaniambia ma unajua sasa baba ataniacha na wewe sasa utarudi job na kuru sasa nitabaki hapa peke yangu akakimbia bedroom akanitolea picha akaniambia shika hii picha unaona ukini miss you look at the picture and you just kiss me i will feel it akanikiss mtoto hey, akanikiss mkono aniambia acha tu niende na baba si niache juu wewe utarudi job na kuru i mean nika nikaenda na yeye nje mm. nikaenda nikasimama sasa mbele ya gari nikawaambia mm. hawendi na huyu mtoto sasa mm. fanya kenye utafanya lakini wendi na yeye saka mm. piga simu home akasema ni mecos fracas anka wangu akasema hata mkimpigia simu amesema ashiki simu yangu iko kwa nyumba mm. kupiga by the sit ashika juu niko nje mm. sasa hivyo ndio alinigonganisha home mm. The next day tukakuja so alilala mlilala kwa nyumba moja hey, ni bidi juu time ya kafi ilikuwa imefika but hmm. sasa yeye amejifungia kwa bedroom but anaongea unajua eh mimi sijui anaweza react aje stack ya ni uwe sijui nini so mimi nafikiri au ni mtu ananigonga kofi na anguka chini nitamuache so hata nilikuwa na check at some point akajifungia bedroom si tukalala nikalala mm. bedroom ya mtoto mm. asubuhi sikuwa tumesema tunaenda kwa children sasa nipewe mtoto mimi ninapaka nguo za mtoto nikitoa kidogo zile zimeraruka hivyo saka niuliza by the way ulikuwa urudi aje nikaambia mimi nitakuja na mat haina shida ai mtoto kuingia kwa gari na kweni tunaacha mam so mtoto ndiye alifanya in fact ni pande kwa hiyo gari so tukikuja na kuru ako bado kwa phone call so, i think the other person alikuwa na wanakeleleshana kulingana veni kwa napata mm. oh mwambie shuke kwa gari yetu ni nini mimi sikuwa na mind bora nimeshika mtoto wangu na hiyo ndo nilikuwa nimekujia kufika na kuru nikaambia by the way utachukua mtu hii leo takwambia ile siku tutaenda kwa children's nikasema ni sawa eh alafu akanitumia form imeandikwa ni 1st December so me 1st December ni kwa job by the way hiyo siku eh niliambia boss wangu ju boss wangu hakuwahi jua niko na mtoto so nimwambia afu hiyo siku nilikuwa emotional so mimi nalia naambia boss wangu eh sisiki vizuri i need medical attention akaniambia ni sawa weenda so mimi nikaenda kwa children's office this guy anaitwa Aliji introduce kama Paul mm. Paul akaanza kutuliza eh at the office mnajua as much as tunataka ni about child welfare tunataka kujua kwa nini watu wali separate mm. maybe tunaweza mediate eh mediate mediate mwenye alikuja anaitwa Sheila Sheila kanza the same thing sijui nini afu tunaanza kuulizwa vile tulianza kukaa pamoja and everything. Sasa kuanza kuulizwa 
Hai ni na notice maswali zangu ni ikafika some point mi na una can set up juu. Ikafika point uyu baby daddy akasema eh uyu hata alikuwa mbaya. E, I know she cheated sijui nini. Nikamuliza siku gani aje. Ati kwa siku liku umetoka hiyo organization inyo. Kwa organization inaito Sister Speaks. Mm. Watu na distribute pads. Mm. Ati uka kuja home and uko ganusu. Nikamambia ilikuwa hivi. Tulikuwa na cocktails. Kuingia kwa basi ni mekanyuma. Awezi tapika kwa basi jutambe uoshe ama mm. ulipe miambili. Mm. Bage ni kuwa na ayo handbag. Mm. Mm. I puked kwa hiyo bag. Mm. Na nilikuwa ni mekutext. Nika kwambia. Nitachelewa juku na cocktails. I'll take two and then come home mm. na uka. Mm. Au kujibu. So mi nike puke hivi kwa bag. Sinimekele hapa mm. bag. Mm. So iko kwa lap. So mm. nikifika home toga. Sintoga hivi. Mm. Atia. Ah, minona. Aya. Shila kauliza. So she drinks. Mi nikasema occasionally tukienda nee mahali, tukienda bash nee ama out. Uh, Sheila na insist. So she drinks. Yes, ikandi kwa chini. Na ya tukendelea. Kuendelea, anasema she, she was moody, sijui nini. Yeni vitu zikuwa zina happen too. Sijui she was not giving me enough sex. Ati but hiyo ni story yake to tell. Ni kama na kuangana trauma ni story yake to tell. Shila kanyuliza. Shida ilikuwa gani. Nkambia nikiwa mdogo ni kuwa sexually assaulted. And uh, si kuwa ipata ile counseling. Mtu wana deserve. So u mtu wana kuatak na vitu zenyo ni eh, confide in him. Inyeye. Ati oh so you need counseling. So yo kitu kusumbua ni kwa e. Eh, Ikandi kwa chene. Hasi tunaendelea hivyo. Yaani huyu mtu anasema oh eh afu nikaulizwa by the ukipewa mtoto utatekea mtoto aje nikaambia sai i have a job na nili move out si uko home kwetu tena. Mm. Ati alafu sasa nikaambia for the time being nikiwa job either nitakuwa naacha mtoto kwa deke mm. ama namuacha kwetu. Mm. Akaangalia baby daddy unataka mtoto wako achangwe deke ya na corona? Akasema pana mtoto wangu ataacho deke ya na hii corona nikaambi ya ndakuwa nikimuacha kwetu. Ati no 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 her family is hostile. Nikamuliza hostile aje. Ati mwazi wane simuli nipkuza na mtoto nikaambi ya no ulikuwa rude kwa grandmother yangu. Mulikuwa muna bishana ukambi utukue mtoto uende. Mm. Ati ya kwani wewe uku bishania mtoto. Nikaambi ya nikuanda grandmother angu. Kenya anasema minafanya sina job ni yana ni feed. What was I supposed to do? Afu njini muna pigia mtoto simu. Muna shinda mume poison. Mtoto ashinda kwa mlango akilia. Nikuwa supposed kufanya nini. Ati for that reason. E, mi, sioni kama mtoto wako sawa akiwa na ye. Nani alisema hivyo? Now that she, babake. Mm. Mm -hmm. e, mi niko tudi sawa. E, afu tukambio tutenda sessions. Mi nikambio ntoke inje. Waka kaka waka kaka ka 45 minutes. Mi by saa hii, nika naanza kushika kenye inendelea. Sama so, minku uko kwa wanja, mi ninalia. Kuitu wa minku ingia ndani, vitu tu naambiwa ni, you know, uko suppose kuwa a good wife, uko suppose kukua humble, ati unaona ataka ni in-laws, uko suppose kupenda in-laws zako, ati men, men, is, it's all about sex, uko suppose akitisha tu any time unampe. Sana ni anakuambia. Sasa ni? Sheila. Uyo mediator. Eh, uyo mediator. Uh -huh. Eh, mina shindwa, kwani tunongelelea hizi vitu. Session yangu, by the way, in, ikaisha hivyo. Mi tunambio zile vitu ni kwa suppose kufanya. Afu tukaitua sisi wote. Anani address mimi. Ati sasa Lucy, kulingana ve mino ona, unajua nyi wote ni kama kona shida. Uyu mtoto, kenye tu kwa suppose kufanya ni kumchukua sisi kama government. Tumweke under children. So, nikambia shila ati mfanye. Tumweke mtoto under children. So, nikambia pana. Kama mtoto atenda children's home, acheni babaki ya kene. Nimekua children's home, nimejua life ya uko. Sitaki mtoto andagu uyo. Kama itabidi ya kena babake, ndia siende uko ni sawa. Nikanza kulia tena, nikatoka, nikenda washroom. Kuenda washroom, hata siku kani. Kambio, Lucy, we have a lot of clients, si webe peke yako. Nika, haka niambia, so, kenye tumeona conclusion yetu, uko mentally unstable and a very unfit mother 
kukaa na mtoto wako. So mtoto ataendelea kukaa na baba yake. Wewe in conclusion yote imekujaje? At no Lucy we have a lot of clients. Can you get out? So me time yote ninalia tu nikasimama. Kusimama wananiuliza unaenda wapi? Ilikuwa around saa 9. Mm. Kaambia nitarudi job. Awezi enda job hivyo? Nikaambia nirudi job lazima nipeane report. Akasema akaambia utampeleka jua kwa na gari atino haizi panda kwa gari yangu akiwa hivi i know her she is too dramatic sasa mimi nalia ile hysterical kabisa mm. ati kwanza akianza hivi kwanza akianza hivi anakuanga mbaya sana ati hebu jichungeni hebu jichungeni hiyo mimi nilisikia vibaya nikasema sawa acha nienda nitafute pikipiki nienda shila akasema no wacha ni kuitie pikipiki by the time shila anatoka Eh, mi nilijipata huko chini nina nimefunguliwa nguo I guess I fainted mm. kama I fainted afu mm. naona wako na maji na glucose mi kuka chini niliuliza tu swali moja niko allowed kuona mtoto wangu sasa nikaambiwa eh utakuwa shila kaniambia eh utakuwa ukimuona nikauliza bibi daddy niko allowed kuona mtoto kaniambia eh utakuwa ukiona mtoto wako nikasimama nikaambia sawa nimeenda nikapanda pikipiki maji nirudi job kurudi job si concentrate hata hiyo siku siku tu ma report so the next time naingia job na ulizo report na i guess hapo ndio nili lose job yangu mm. juu ya history yote mm. aya mimi nikaka siku ya kwanza siku ya pili nikapiga simu nilisiniambia unaweza ongea na mtoto kupiga simu hachukui nikamwandikia message hi permission to see my son set place time atakani dakika mbili tu nipe time ya kuona mtoto haikurudishwa nikasema maybe i can reason with the mother nikapigia mama yake nikaambia sasa tukitoka kwa children's court tukiwa nilikuwa nimeambia unaweza mtoto hey hakuna documents zozote walikupea hakuna hata so goza nielewe mm. hii mediation mulienda siku moja tu mm. na kila kitu ikamalizika mm. so, so hii decision yote wame mm. make tu kwa hiyo counseling kidogo wamefanya waka make decision eh. ati mtoto waendelee kukaa na babake eh, jumi okay. niko mentally unstable na eh. unfit mm. so mimi kupigia mama yake naambia tulikuwa ni kwa maambi unaweza mtoto <laughs> kaniambia skiza hata wazimu na chokora wako kwa streets na wanaweza kana watoto wao wewe ulienda kutoa wazimu yako yote sijui ulienda kusema nini mpaka saa hii uwezi pewa mtoto so juwezi pewa mtoto na huyo anataka kuhasu e, utakuwa ukifaa nini so utakuwa ukituma pesa za ku maintain hiyo mtu hii mwanda line hiyo utakuwa ukituma pesa tukiwa na shila ni kwa nimeambiwaje Either mean yache job nikae home nikuwe nikikaa na mtoto juwezi pelekwa daycare mm. na haizi pelekwa kwetu ni hostel saa mimi niache job nikamiza shila nikiacha job what about my 50% mm. aya kaniambia basi itabidi eh uko ukitumia babake pesa basi juu ya ye uko alisema mi alikuwa na contradict mara hana job Mara akienda job ndo inabidingi anaenda na mtoto ama anaachia sijui nani mtoto sa mimi sikuajui ako job ama yuko mm. but she like sema juu hayuko job na yeye anaweza kana mtu hii utakuwa unamtumia pesa sasa unaona hiki kitu imekuja twice so kwa nini mimi niko suppose kutuma pesa kwa mtoto mwe sikubaliwi kuona sikubaliwi kuongea na yeye mimi nikalenga mama yake akasema sikiza ati ati sasa wewe unataka uishi na starehe zako ati sawa tu nikukuja kuona mtoto ukienda kufanya mashughuli zako nikaambia haikukua hivyo mimi sijui amewaambia nini lakini mimi sijakataa mtoto at any point mm. akasema sikiza mtoto utai muona ka ukijua hivyo nikakata simu yani i wish simu yangu ingekuwa ida record ni zange ku record vitu zote juu unajua sasa ni my word against pairs na yeye anajua hata yako na Samsung in fact yende alinunulia hii Samsung anajua hiezi record so at no point ningeza ku record any conversation afu huyu mtu ameishi kwa avoid text kabisa 
mimi ndo nilikuwa na so, text so evidence yoyo eh sina yani ni words zangu against eh na hata mimi ninaenda on cameras tu ka words nina hizi ni words naweza simama nishike biblia i stand by these words ju yani azimio mwaka yote nimehangaika kutosha na hiki tu inatocha mtu ju wona ka ukikula unajiuliza mtoto wangu anakula Alafu at some point iko time alikuwa anamfanyisha homework eh si mtoto ameingia shule anashika hivi pencil ya nataka ashike in a specific way so anchapa huo mtoto mpaka ashike pencil vile nataka nakumbuka huo mtoto alikuwa anatoka shule anafanya homework ndio sasa mimi mm. nampe chai nini nini mm. so iko time siju alikuwa anamwambia aseme nini mtoto asemie geza alikuwa amechoka ama kitu ka hiyo mm alimpiga kofi mtoto akakaa hivi kwanza hali hafanyi kitu yote ameka tu hivi mpaka mimi namuliza ai hiyo si kofi ya kugonga mtoto akasimama akatoka mpaka na shake mtoto basi alie so kuna so, kitu tatu unaona eh, ni so mtoto wako ana mtoto eh kama anateswa huyu this new person miss jean take care aje ya mtoto eh ju huyu mtoto aliniambia ati mam saa zingine mimi anti ndiye ananioshanga na mimi sitaki kuosha na anti si urudi uko kinioosha afu mtoto akaniambia lakini niliambiwa anti ni life partner wa baba wewe umepata life partner so mimi najiuliza hivi ni mtu gani wanaambia mtoto mtoto wangu akoaje psychologically na kako seven hapana ko five, five years, years. Eh, june born 2015 so mimi mtoto wangu akwaje sasa hii shule zimefungulia anafanyishwa aje homework anaenda aje shule anakula anashiba jumi kusema ukweli veni nilikuwa huko Nairobi hiyo November mtoto wangu alikuwa ame lose weight na si exaggerate alafu mtu hiyo siku akilia alikuwa analia akishika tumbo tukitoka Nairobi kuja alikuwa amekunywa breakfast alafu alikuwa amembaia soda hii ya club mm. but mtu hii all through alikuwa na complain tumbo So is my child see kama si mgonjwa. So hizo mi vitu zinanitocha. Mm. Mm. Alafu sasa ve tulitoka huko kwa children's mama yake amekaa hivyo amesema mtoi ni juu yetu ni hivyo. So mimi nimekaa. Hiyo time yote si uko job. Mimi nimekaa tu kwa nyumba ikafika 25th. 25th ni Christmas ya kwanza. Mi ni na kabila mtu hii. Tho hiyo Christmas ingine sikuwa na ye but nilienda kwao. Mm. Juu ni kwa nimeenda kujaribu pia kuongea na wazazi wake waone issue iko between mi na ye kawa naweza to reconcile but hakuna mm. mtu aliongea na mimi. Alafu ndasema hii na hii ni kitu naweza shika Biblia. Hii ni kitu naweza swea ni kuredi ku die by it. Mimi hata nikiwa huko my child alikuwa discriminated ile the sister to this person ako na watoto e, na huyu mtoto mkubwa ndio alikuwa kama the favorite mm. so angenunuliwa vitu wa watoto angenunuliwa vitu mtoto wangu hata nunuliwa in fact mtoto wangu this is grandmother yake but yeye alikuwa na rifa ka yeye e, shosho nani juu yeye anaona kama na treating you poor so ni shosho nani hivyo So mimi nauliza kan kiwa hapo mtoto wangu alikuwa discriminated na sasa hii siuko. So after we post Facebook so, nini ili happen? 25th kukuwa lonely niko naacha mimi niende public ve kutenda kuende e, najua tu nitapata positive moja juu mimi nilikuwa nataka tu mtu mmoja aone kesi yangu juu kwanza mimi siwezi afford lawyer hiyo ni kitu moja sina support ya familia yangu toka ni hame home ni zangu wangu ama anti yangu amecall hawajui ni daishi wapi hawajui kana niko uhai na huyu anko i'm talking about brother mamangu mtu mwenye alisema hiyo siku nilikuwa nangangania mtoto alisema niambiwa benioga mkono so mimi niko all alone in this so mimi nikamwa ntenda public mtu yote mwenye ataona kesi yangu tu mtu mmoja hata kana ni mtu mmoja atajitolea kunisaidia at least ni nipate kusaidiwa mm. at least nikae na mtoto wangu mm. and that's when nilienda public nikai post watu wakashare wakashare ikafika fida kila mahali mm. na hapo ndio nilikuwa nilipata loya mm. na asante na NGO wenye walikuwa so interested na hii kesi yangu na ndio wana handle sasa ndio wana handle kila kitu mm. alafu sasa 
ni kwa napata two easy phone calls kutoka kwa children's kwanza ya kwanza nikapatanga nikaulizwa mbona ulipost si kesi nikaambia juu nilifiri ofisi yenu ilikuwa so unfair kwanza kwangu mm. ndambio but ulikuwa urudi date 7 ulikuwa upewe mtoto nikaambia ilikuwaje nipewe mtoto hiyo date 7 mnajua shule zinafunguliwa fourth Niko supposed aje, nikuwa supposed aje kwanza kutafuta yo shule bai. Ata si shule tuachia hapu. Iyo tu enye mulisema si staili kupewa mtoto. Iyo mm. time. Afu sahi muna niambia na staili kupewa mtoto. Mm. Baba uyo mtoto, tangu iyo siku haja kubali nione mtoto. Haja kubali nionge na mtoto. Mm -hmm. Mimi nimejaribu kupiga simu, kupigia Sheila specifically. Mwambi ulise manezo na mtoto saisi mwoni. Sheila ashiki calls za angu nine endelea. Afu saai, veke siangu imeenda public mwona kwa feed ando mna niambia niko suppose kupewa mtoto aji. Mm. Wakaniuliza so unakuja ama. Nambia misi kuji mwoni humiliate tena ilitosha. Nika simekana stand up but lawyer kaniambia juu alikuwa amekwambia enda mm. enda uambie kesi iko kutini na ni hivyo iko mm. na utoke so mimi mm. kwenda jana ha, watu walaniambia ati tena ni drop kesi yangu irudi kwa ofisi yao naambia the same office mlisema mimi ni mentor kesi yangu itarudiaje huku ati unajua ukienda kutini itakudrain utatoka ukiwa the same person nikauliza but nitatoka na custody ya mtoto eh lakini utatoka ukiwa the same person nakaambia si sijali mm, mimi hata sitaki hata sitaki soul nitaka shared Jumi siyezi take right ya huyu mtoto kuwa na babake kwa life. Iyo ni kitu moja siyezi take. Mina jua what it takes ku grow. Jumbaka mi sai. Next year na turn 30. But mi uka hivi na jiuliza. Na kani ngekuwa na baba. Na kani ngekuwa na mama. Ivo. Ata this person mwenye tunaungelelea. He knows. Kwa zata ye mwenye ya meishi kutrace biological father yake tukiwa hiyo mm. Nairobi so mm. he knows ni kitu anajua mbona nataka kusubmit mtoto wangu anda nini kitu ka hiyo na miss kata i mean ikisemekana ni hata kana mtoto ni kweni kimchukua holidays ni sawa ikisemekana mi nataka hivyo hakuna mm. rights zozote nataka ku take away mm. from mm. mtoto but shida yangu ni sina access yote amtiezi ongea na mtoto wangu siezi ona mtoto wangu ni torture Sasa mi tu ni kwa ntaka, at least, mi, ntaka tu koti enyewe tu ifiki, mi kama mawio mtoto, ata siulizi soul custody, access tu ya mtoto wangu. Awa watu kusema uko mental, hmm. ulifanywa, uli, uli ongea, kuna psychiatrist yoyote aliongea kasema we ni mental, kuna daktar yoyote alipatiana feedback kasema we ni muenda wazimu, Apu, ama ilisemu watu. Ilisemu watu, iyo ofisi all along, ilikuwa mimi. Sheila na baby dad. Hakuna mtu mwingine ya lingia. Hata kuenda kuona daktar yoyote ndi ya andike report yoyote ni mento. Ni kenya tu Sheila alikuwa na andika chini. Ili kumi kufila aje kusikia mtu wana kuita muenda wazimu. At first kwanza mi nilishtuka. I guess hata hiyo shock ndiyo ilifanya nika. Nika kuwa unconscious. Mento yet mi sijai kuwa na house help. Tangu mtoto wazaliwe. Mbaka ingia shule. Mbaka akiwa shule. Hakuna hata daika moja nimetoka kando ya huyu mtoto. How come sai? Mi ni mento. Na hiyo time yote nye nilikuwa na, na huyu mtoi. Afu kaa mi ni mento. Baba haki alikuwa na kubali aje nikewe na mtoto nikiwa mento. How? So mi ni, ni confusion, ni kufeel vibaya, ni kufeel betrayed. Uni mtu tumekane over seven years. Ananijua kwa nini ashinda kisema mi ni mento. Na hiyo si mara kwanza. Tukikana ya mesema hiyo kitu maramingi. Meswe hata iko time ni kwa ni meanza kubelieve mi ni mento. Chui kwa nasema ntarudi kukurekod vitu nasema. Pia kwa ofisi aliambia Sheila the same thing. Ati mi wish neza merekod vitu nasema. Nikambia siunge kuna rekod basi. Mm, mm. Jui kitu ya kunita wazimu imenchokesha. Kwa si wazimu. Mi si wazimu alafu vetu limaliza hiyo kesi. Eh, iyo, alikuwa umtu amekuwa in constant communication with my aunt, sorry to say. So venye aliambia auntie yangu, akambia uncle yangu, walienda home and they laughed about it. Uni mtu ameishi kunita, wazimu, why are you laughing about it? Nini watu mnanijua? Mnanijua minka wazimu, why are you laughing about this issue? Nini mnajua venye nani affect kuitua wazimu? 
na nikianza kuamini mimi ni wazimu usiamini wewe ni wazimu usiamini yani kitu wote tu na nieka chini tu kabisa ni nini hasa inakuuma sai penye inaniuma sana sana from the beginning mimi hata wakisema mimi ni mentor kuna watu mentor sana wazimu wanakuanga huko nje yetu wako na watu wao so mimi kukatazo kuona mtu ime inaniuma sana but pia hii kitu ya kuitwa mentor so ka familia yangu itaamini kenye huyu mtu anamwambia ana si mimi inamaanisha mimi ni mentor kabisa ama but hata kanikiwa mentor hizi vitu zote mtu mentor mgadi anavaanga hivi <laughs> mtu mentor mgani anaweza fanya kazi kani ningekuwa mentor ningekuwa napigania mtoto wangu <laughs> na kuna daftari yote atakuwa ndio wote zaidi andikia ripoti basi wanipeleke tuone kama bidi bento isuri yote imefanya mpaka si concentrate na job sasa nilifutwa ya tuku ito mali wasi mental sawa sawa lucy eh mm. sawa mm. ungetaka mtoto wako ajue nini kuhusu mama yake? Mimi ningependa tu mtoto wangu mi ajue na mi kwenda i public si ati nilikuwa nataka achukie baba yake ama achukie mtu mtu yote mi ni kwa tu nataka ajue mi nampendo na mi nitakuwa na yeye. Na hata mtoto wangu anajua nampenda. Na bibi dadi wako? Mimi si si dakika ya kumwambia akupe tu mtoto. Mimi hata anipe tu mtoto wangu. Anikubalie tu mimi nione mtoto wangu. Mimi sitaki kujua about life yake, sitaki kujua about kitu yote ina happen kwa life yake. Mimi ni mtoto tu, yani mtu amefanya mpaka mimi. Ni makasi ile je, ile je mimi ni limit huyu mtu I cast that day. <laughs> Mtoto wangu is the best thing yenye ilidi have any but mimi tu kwa nini ili have kupata mtoto na mtu kawe yani mtu amenyongeisha yangu mimi nimechoka tu kabisa nimechoka Let's be trade Dos zita open sawa Oh. In any case kama kwa show kuna therapist yote ana watch ningetaka kukaa down na mtu professional mm-hmm. akupatie support mm-hmm. ndio because mm-hmm. i think there is too much you are going through and you are not alone na usiwai amini wewe ni mwenda wazimu ni sawa you might be dealing with too much but you are not a mad woman ni sawa mm. okay mm. and we hope for the best mm. i know watu wengi wameamua watakusaidia mpaka at least uweze kuona mtoto wako nini ungetaka kuambia wa Kenya ama msichana tu yoyote anapitia vitu zenye umepitia nataka kuambia no matter what unapitia mm. iko tu time mingine yenye mimi ukaa chini yenyewe naona yenyewe papasi yangu ni nini kwa life kwa ni mimi nataka kugani chini tu kwa life lakini pumzike judras home kwa leo isi but mimi nataka kugani hata mimi nipumzike lakini kwa wapi na but hata hizi vitu zote bado mimi nakazana na life nitaenda chini saa zingine niko hopeless kabisa yenyewe No na pana si nitoke tu huku but najua I have to stay alive juu kama Mungu amekuweka alive enye ajamaliza na wewe Azo mtu yote tu ana go through situation yote usi give up kama kila siku na mka hivi unajipata alive then Mungu ajamaliza na wewe na mimi niko tu niko tu curious kuona kenye Mungu amenipangia mbele juu yenyewe eze acha tu life yangu yote niangaike mm. si nipe tu hata period tu some few years hata mimi basi nifurahi kwa life ume feel ume safa all your life eh yani hata kama ni happiness yani tu iko short lived yani ni kama shida ni mingi kushinda times zenye uko happy Take heart. 
itakuwa na good ending ni sawa mm-hmm. and any therapist mwenye ana watch show and you feel you can actually come through for Lucy please do we'll be reaching out to the children's uh, department and her uh, ex to find out more on this story and we'll keep you updated in the meantime if anyone thinks they can offer Lucy the support she deserves please contact her my name is Lynn Gogi thank you so much for watching